Dear students, I am Dr. Kaleem Ahmad, Assistant Professor, Department of Wildlife Sciences, Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh. Today, we will discuss concept of ecosystem and its characteristics. The term ecosystem was first coined in 1935 by the British ecologist Sir Arthur G. Tensley. An ecosystem is a dynamic and interconnected system where living organism and the physical environment interact and influence each other. This concept encompasses the intricate relationship between biotic components called living organisms and abiotic components called non-living elements within a defined geographic area. Ecosystem can be as small as pond or as, as vast as a tropical rainforest, but they all share fundamental principles. Plant drives energy directly from the sun, while animals and microorganisms acquire energy by consuming other organisms through processes like predation, parasitisms, and decomposition. Terrestrial plants primarily obtain water from the soil, whereas animals acquire it from either freestanding water sources or through their food. Plants generally extract most nutrients from the soil or water, while animals obtain nutrients from plants or other organisms. Microorganisms exhibit high adaptability, drawing nutrients from soil, water, food, or other living entities. As a consequence of these intricate relationship, organisms engage in multiple forms of interaction with each other and their surroundings. The dynamic and interconnected systems formed by these fundamental interactions between organisms and their non-living or physiochemical environment is called an ecological system or ecosystem. The ecosystem is recognized as a fundamental functional unit of ecology, with ecology being the study of these ecosystems. In a closely uh, intertwined relationship, microorganisms coexist with non-living components of the environment including water, air, and soil. Each organism relies on its environment for essential elements like energy, nutrients, and water to carry out various life processes. Here we will discuss some definition of ecosystem. The great ecologist Olam 1971 defined ecosystems as any unit that includes all of the organisms in a given area interacting with the physical environment so that a flow of energy leads to clearly defined tropical structures, biotic diversity and material cycles within the system in an ecological system or ecosystems. Thus, Odom clearly describes that the ecosystem is a geographical unit and that energy flows play a central role in defining the structural and functional features of the ecosystem. Allen and Hextor 1992 stated, ecosystem as the functional ecosystem is the conception where biota are explicitly linked to the abiotic world of the surroundings. System boundaries include the physical environment. Size is not the critical characteristics, rather than the cycles and the pathways of energy and the matter in aggregate form the entire ecosystem. They actually define it as a functional ecosystem and emphasize that the functional future such as nutrient cycling or trophic dynamics 
as much as what it contains or its size. Oldham emphasizes on geographic unit and energy flow. Allen and Huxley focus on functional aspects of the ecosystems linking bioda to the abiotic world. Both actually highlighted the interaction of the organisms with the physical environment. As we already discussed in the previous slides that ecosystem encompasses both biotic living and abiotic non-living components. Here we will discuss some characteristics of the ecosystem. Biotic animals elements include plants, animal, fungi, bacteria and other organisms. Abiotic factors comprise the physical and chemical components such as sunlight, temperature, water, soil and minerals. The interactions between these elements actually shapes the ecosystem. Another characteristic of uh, ecosystem is energy flow and that is one of the fundamental characteristics of the ecosystem. Energy enters ecosystem through sunlight which is then converted into chemical energy by photosynthetic organisms like plants. This energy is transferred to the food chain as organisms consume each other. Energy flow is unidirectional with energy decreasing at each trophic levels due to metabolic process. Another nutrient cycling. Ecosystem actually demonstrate efficient recycling of the nutrients. Nutrients such as carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus and others are cycled through the ecosystems. Decomposers also play a vital role in breaking down dead organisms and organic matters, releasing nutrients back into the soil or water for reuse by the plants. Another characteristic of the ecosystem is interdependence and is a key characteristic of the ecosystem. Each species in an ecosystem is interconnected and dependent on others for various resources like food, shelter or even reproduction. Change in one population can have a cascading effects on the others influencing the balance of the entire ecosystem. Another is adaptation and evolutions. Ecosystem exhibit a constant process of adaptation and evolutions. Species evolve over time to better suit their environment. And this evolutionary process contributes to the biodiversity within an ecosystem. Adaptation can be structural, behavioral or physiological, enhancing an organism's chance of survival and reproduction. Another characteristic of the ecosystem is succession. Ecosystem succession is a dynamic process of ecological change over time. It involves the sequential colonization and replacement of the species in a particular area. Primary succession begins in the barren landscape such as volcanic lava or glacial debris, where pioneer species gradually establish and create conditions for more complex vegetations. Secondary successions occurs in previously disturbed ecosystems like abundant farmlands, over time, species compositions, soil structure, and environment conditions evolve. Succession contributes to biodiversity, habitat complexity, and ecosystem resilience. Human activities, including land use change, can disrupt, emphasizing the importance of understanding and managing ecological transitions for ecosystem health. Another characteristic of the ecosystem is habitat and niche. Habitat actually refers to the physical environment where an organism or a community of the organisms resides. It includes the living and non-living element necessary for their survival such as climate, vegetation and topography. 
niche on the other hand is the specific role or function of the species within its habitat encompassing its interaction with other organisms and its utilization of resources niche differentiations allows multiple species to coexist in the same habitat by exploiting different ecological niches understanding the interplay between habitat and niche is crucial for comprehending ecosystems dynamic biodiversity and the delicate balance that sustains life within the diverse ecosystem another characteristics of the ecosystem is diversity diversity are characterized by high level of actually ecosystem are characterized by high levels of the biodiversity this diversity contributes to the resilience and stability of the ecosystem different species have a unique roles and functions leading to a more robust and adaptable system ecosystem diversity captures the variety of the distinct ecosystem within a geographical area each characterized by unique environmental conditions species compositions and ecological process this diversity spans terrestrial aquatic and marine realms encompassing forests grasslands wetlands oceans and more ecosystem interact providing a countless services such as water purification pollination and climate regulations high ecosystem diversity enhances resilience against disturbances and fosters adaptability in the face of the environmental changes human activities like deforestation and pollutions pose threats to the diversity highlighting the importance of conservation to safeguard the intricate balance of the ecosystems another is climate regulation ecosystem play a pivotal role in climate regulation by absorbing carbon dioxide through process like photosynthesis acting as a vital carbon sinks forests oceans wetlands and soils contribute to carbon sequestrations mitigating the impact of the climate change vegetation releases oxygen supporting life and maintaining the balance of the atmospheric gases ecosystems also influence local climate through process like evapotranspiration impacting the temperature and precipitation patterns human activities such as deforestation disturb these vital process emphasizing the importance of sustainable conservation efforts for global climate stability and the well-being of the both natural environments and human societies another characteristics of the ecosystem is water purification water purification in ecosystem is a crucial natural process that ensures the availability of clean water for various organisms ecosystems imply a combination of physical chemical and biological mechanisms to purify water physical process involve the movement of water through social and through soil and rocks which act as a natural filters removing impurities and particles additionally aquatic plants play a vital role by absorbing nutrients and contaminants through their roots contributing to water clarity chemical process includes natural reactions that break down pollutants and toxins present in water microorganism such as bacteria and alga contribute to these process by breaking down organic matter and converting harmful substance into less harmful forms biological process involves interaction between different organisms within the ecosystem for example certain species of fish feed on alga 
and other microorganisms helping to maintain a balance and prevent excessive nutrients levels that can degrade water quality overall we can say the combination of these physical chemical and biological process creates a self sustaining system where water is continuously purified promoting the well being of aquatic ecosystem and supporting the diverse life forms that depend on clean water for survival another characteristics of ecosystem is pollination and agriculture pollination is vital ecological process with significant implications for agriculture it involves the transfer of pollen containing male reproductive cells from the male part to the female part of the flower facilitating fertilization and the production of the seeds this process is crucial for the reproduction of many flowering plants and play a key role in maintaining biodiversity and supporting ecosystem in agriculture pollination is particularly essential for the production of fruits vegetables and seeds many crops including fruits like apples berries and nuts as as well as vegetables like tomatoes cucumbers rely on pollinators to ensure successful reproduction bees butterfly birds and other pollinators visits flowers in search of nectar and in advertently transfer pollen between flower facilitating the pollination process maintaining a diverse community of pollinators is crucial for sustainable agriculture another characteristics of bio of ecosystem is bio ecosystem are often categorized into large units known as biomes biomes are defined by distinctive climate conditions vegetation types and adaptation of the organisms that inhabit them some example includes rainforests deserts tundras and grasslands biomes play a key role in shaping the ecosystem community although we have discussed a lot of characteristics of the ecosystems but there are certain impacts also human impact on ecosystems also human activities have a profound impact on ecosystem deforestation pollution climate change and habitat destructions alter ecosystems often leading to negative consequences for both the environment and the human well-being understanding these basic characteristics is essential for effective ecosystem management and conservation by recognizing the delicate balance and interplay within the ecosystem humans can strive to maintain a harmonious relationship with the environment promoting sustainability and the well-being of the planet today we will finish on this in the next lecture we will discuss the components of the ecosystems that is biotic and abiotic in detail manner thank you